What's up guys, calling all nurses around the world, this vlog is for you. My name is JC. And I'm Lorraine. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. For those international nurses who are thinking about coming here to Australia to pursue a nursing career here, good news! APRA has introduced a new pathway to become a qualified registered nurse here in Australia. Just a bit of background before we proceed to the main topic, APRA or the Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency is basically the organization that ensures that health professionals such as JC and myself are following the Australian standards. In the Philippines, APRA is equivalent to what we call as PRC, but the main difference is that APRA only handles medical or health-related professions. APRA oversees 50 national boards, which includes the NMBA or the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Australia. The NMBA specifically regulates the practices of nurses and midwives here in Australia and ensures that they follow guidelines, policies, and procedures to safely practice. Anyway, to become a nurse here in Australia, there are two main ways to do it at the moment. First, you take the longer route and enroll in a bachelor's degree in nursing program in any university that offers the program. Um, this is what we did. And the second one is to submit your papers to APRA and then they will assess this and see if you're qualified enough for the Australian standards. and give you the permission to register or refer you to take up a shorter study time such as conversion, bridging, or the iron programs. There's many names to it. However, in the following months, NMBA will transition to a new model assessment in early 2020, which they are calling as OBA or the Outcome-Based Assessment. This is specifically for people who hold a nursing qualification overseas but is not deemed as equivalent to an Australian qualification. This assessment or pathway will entirely replace the need for a bridging program. So in other words, they will be phasing out the bridging program soon and you don't have to study for months. Bridging programs will still continue until 2021, but starting January 2020, they will stop referring people to do the bridging program. Instead, they will refer you to the OBA. So don't be confused, okay? The bridging programs until 2021 are only for those people who got their referral letters before January 2020. So, all nurses out there from other countries, you will have to apply and submit your qualifications to APRA's NMBA using the AGOS 40 form. Link below. They will then assess your papers and determine whether your qualification is equivalent or substantially based on similar competencies to an Australian qualification. If this is the case, congratulations, you can apply for registration. Or, number two, your nursing qualification is not equivalent or based on similar competencies with an Australian qualification. Filipinos, Kababayan nurses whose qualifications are only Philippine based unfortunately you fall on this category so in this case you will then be referred to take the outcomes based assessment don't quote us on this okay but we think nurses with qualifications from countries such as the US Canada UK New Zealand and Ireland you may not need to do the assessment but again don't quote us everyone's qualifications or papers are still individually assessed at the end of the day, the NMBA still has the final say. The OBA is a two-step assessment process. So the first one, part one, is an online exam. It's multiple choice from what I know. And once you've passed the exam, you will proceed to the part two, which is clinical or practical exam. This practical exam is called OSCE or the Objective Structured Clinical Examination, wherein you will be given a scenario and you will have to provide nursing interventions based on Australian standards. After passing the online exam and the practical exam, you will have to do an orientation program. Honestly, this is a bit vague for me because I called them this morning and they are in the process of finalizing this. Anyway, as per the fact sheet, the orientation program has three stages. Stage 1 is an online assessment. 
Stage 2 has something to do with learning about the diversity of the Australian culture, and Stage 3 is apparently provided by your employer based on NMBA's guidelines. So again guys, just to reiterate, just to recap, OBA will start officially on January 2020. If you do have a referral for bridging, you can actually contact APRA if you prefer to do, to do the OBA instead. Again, the bridging program will run until 2021, so if you do have a referral for bridging before January 2020, that will still work. But if you don't have a referral yet before January 2020, basically that's it. You'll have to do the OBA. For the prices and fees involved for the OBA, I've also asked this when I called them this morning and they have not released an official price list yet. As for the assessors or providers, they haven't released it either. And that's basically it for now for the OBA. Oh, and by the way, we are not really familiar with how the UK assesses its internationally qualified nurses, but we heard it's similar to OBA. so. Anyone who's interested in going to the UK, maybe try and think about coming here to Australia instead through the OBA. We have a video about why we chose Australia, so maybe this relates to you. So, you know, come here. Come to us instead. Instead of the UK. Come over here. More Filipino friends, let's go. And not just Filipinos, actually. Yeah, not just Everyone, Filipinos. Everyone, come here. <laughs> Special mention, by the way, to one of our friends, Rogina Espina. Rogina, Hello. thank you so much, Hi, Rog. Rog. Thank you so much for yes. this information. Yes, she gave us this information because she just came here to Australia. So, welcome to Australia. She already got the referral letter for the OBA, and so she will now be reviewing for 10 weeks because she will be taking the exam. So, again, once she's ready, she will take that exam, then the practical exam. And that's it. We'll see what happens. She gave us the information that the practical exam happens every three months. Um, this information came from her, her agency. So anyway, we'll be doing another video if we get more information from the NMBA about the OBA process. So thank you so much, Raj. Thank you so much for your help. We are praying for you and good luck. God bless in your exam. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write your questions on the comment section down below and we will try to answer them. If you don't know the answer, we can call APRA on your behalf. We don't mind. Just write your questions. We will try as much as we can to help you guys. Like the video if you've learned something and let us know down below if you want more videos like this. Subscribe if you are new to our channel, please, and click that notification bell just beside the subscribe button so that you can get notifications when we have new videos posted. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, especially the ones that want to be registered nurses here in Australia, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye, Bye.